I'm live. I don't know if there's anybody out there. It's, it's a Monday afternoon um, and everyone should be busy, as was I earlier. But um, I've just popped on because I've been and bought some stuff and thought you might like to see. Um, there were no boot fairs this weekend in my neck of the woods. It was far too windy, exceedingly wet. And we only have outdoor boot fairs. So that would mean a mud bath, which I don't think anyone was up for. So they were all cancelled. It wasn't even a case of turning up to a soggy field with three tables. They were all cancelled. So I'm going to pop a little thing out on Facebook, let everyone know I'm here. Let's see. People may have things to do. Oh, I can't find my groups. <laughs> That's a very good friend of mine. Has a nice, uh, does a two hour stint on a, a fairly local radio, and I have to listen to it online because you, you can't pick it up any other way. And um, it's an online radio station called Ridge Radio. Uh, the lady's name's Rebecca Bird, and she does the most brilliant two hour slot of everything a bit goth, a bit alternative, and a bit different. It's fantastic, can't recommend her highly enough. And I listen to her when I can, when I mean. I don't always get to see all of her stuff because basically I'm kind of usually running around like a mad thing trying to stock up two people are watching but not said hello if, if you, you can say hello it's ah oh everyone's in whoa the door opened and in they came oh yes sam nice timing <laughs> did you need a distraction <laughs> hello mandy how are you oh tea break time lexi yeah <laughs> um yeah well i just thought i would i know people have been a bit short on halls this weekend thanks to the british weather and storm alex my son was delighted there was a storm named after him, but less than delighted with the, the harm it seems to have caused innocent peoples. I've got a cat on my lap, so I'm kind of fidgeting ever, ever so, ever so slightly. Yes, mm, he's here. I don't know if we can be, can we see him? It's just a little black cat that can't mind, really. Max, see a little gentle, yeah, I'm just, yeah, look, there we go. There you are. Oh, there he is, purring, yes. Much bearings. Then you say, no, you see the back of your head, and that's not very, it's not very televisual, is it? Right. <laughs> What's <and> that? <laughs> oh, hello, Laura. <clears throat> Everyone needs a tea break. Well, there you go. See, I've literally come in, had some lunch. I bought the biggest thing in the shop. I'm always doing that, aren't I? Kitty, yes. Kitty. He's so sweet, but he's so stupid. I mean, I, I should cover his ears when I say this because you can't really insult them. Yeah, we have a cat flap. We've had a cat flap for quite a while. He knows how to use the cat flap. It's on, they've got the chip. Um, but he seems to think that there has to be a human around. If there's a human around, they have to open the door for you. Um, and if there's no human around, you stand outside and look sad and get wet. Don't know why. Really don't know why. But there we go. A cat of little brain. But he's so pretty. We have to forgive him. I've got a, sh well, I mean, you can't really see. I can't show you the whole thing. It's it's a sleeping bag. It was the biggest thing in the shop. But what purports to be its liner is this most extraordinary display of, I'll show you the right way up. It will be up. There's, a, there's, a, there's dogs and ducks and there's a man with a gun. I mean, you know, it's very, um. it's not meant to be post-apocalyptic. It's just meant to be. Oh, there's a black lab there. There's a, there's a man with a gun. Upside down man with a gun. Um, it's by a brand called Wenzel, and it's actually made in America, and it's extraordinarily heavy, which probably means it would be good for camping, uh, camper vanning, caravanning, glamping. It's a bit out of season now. I know it truly is, but I think if I bang that on really quickly, somebody might want to go camping uh, for Halloween or something around that time. I don't know, but I saw it and I paid two pounds for it. And I know I'm not going to lose money on that. And so many people won't buy big stuff because of the space it takes. But this will be going down the garage in a very large bag and we'll be out of my way. Oh, man, it's, it's vast. I thought it was a double one. Actually. Oh, oh, whoops. Sorry, destroying what's left of my office here. I've got bags of stuff but it's not that it's unlisted i just haven't um bagged it and labeled it i tend to go through a vast amount of drafting and then as you will know from my videos yeah that's a single size it's a good single size that's a big one so 
Yeah, I've actually got to do a repair because there's a bit where the, the zip has come away from the seam. But that's, that's a simple fix. Oh, that's it. If you're going to sit on my legs, do not hang on by your claws and let gravity cause pain. OK, oh, it's a mad cat, it really is. Oh, hello, Joy. <laughs> Everyone's in. <laughs> yes, and it's a cat I'm fussing here in case anyone's wondering. I decided to have a wash. OK, so what did I get today? Well, there was two pounds on that biggest thing in the shop. Ah, so it's going to be difficult to do with the cat on my hat. Do bear with me. Oh, oh where are we off to? That was something I sold. Ugly looking thing, even ugly when a festive bag. It's a um, cabbage patch doll. Um, and it went for £35. So considering I think I paid £2 for it, I've got a boy as well that's listed. I was quite pleased with that. Um, I'm not really big into toys. <laughs> that kind of thing just isn't my bag. Oh, and I've sold a couple of... Um, let's go and collect these. These are sort of the stainless steel... Everyone's nan had these, didn't they? In the 50s and in the 60s um, and 70s. These are Scandinavian stainless steel made in Denmark, which obviously is always a good thing. Um, yeah, they're, they're just stainless steel kind of trays for nuts and nibbles and various various items. I, I could tell you what I sold those for, but I can't remember. Where are we? Overview. I've got I've got so many things open because I've been listening. Here we go. Overview. Yeah, no, that's not right. <laughs> I printed those labels. I, I think I sent them for about there were a lot of parcels this morning. I think there were over 30. Um, I That was from Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I had quite a nice weekend, I've got to be honest. Um, all orders, here we go. I can tell you what I got for these. It wasn't a huge amount, but I like them. And when I've got things I like, where are they? Where are they? I've got to scroll down a bit. There, 14 99 for the pair. And I think I might have paid a pound or something like that. That's all. But hey ho, at least they're gone, they don't take up any room. So coming back onto the main screen. There we go, decent size again. Right, uh, everything's two pounds, unless I say otherwise, at this particular charity shop. I spent ten pounds in. But that great big thing I bought at the second shop, because I thought I'm on a roll here and it's a nice day, I feel like shopping. Um, I don't know how you guys are doing on big jumpers, so I'm not doing too badly. This wasn't anything super special it's got fringing i know fringing is still having a bit of a bit of a moment it's a just to do up at the top cardigan it's it's a next one but it was a 16 which i thought is a nice size and it's a good neutral color and you know it's got to be a few quid in there um, I drop something out of there. Maybe oh, I didn't find it. Oh, it's in the boot, isn't it? Now this needs a wash because it's really grubby. Um, it, it's Case Nest. Case Nest doesn't bring a huge amount. Yes, it's got the label. That's how I know it's Case Nest. This has got some needs a good wash, but it has quite a, a sort of an ombre effect with the um, colours, blue and green, are always very popular colours. Uh, I don't see that being a great amount, but, you know, good heavy glass is, is nice quality. Oh, what's happened to Sam? I saw no, no, Sam. Your car's just gone to scrapyard heaven. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. Did you know that was going to happen? Or, or, you know, do you sort of got ready for a new one? Um, or did you not know that was going to happen? And it's a nasty shock. I found out my back, one of my back tyres. I, I realised I hadn't had the M rewind and start again on gabbling. I knew I needed my MOT doing, but I couldn't get an appointment in time. So I literally had about a day when I was driving around with no MOT, which is a bit scary. Um, got the MOT done. It failed because it needed a couple of bulbs and a tyre. Got that done and then realised the tax had run out. <laughs> so I've gone online and done that. So always catches me out every year. Oh... Oh, a nice, everyone likes a big box, don't they? <laughs> That's like a mattress topper. Yeah, nice things. 
a lovely big box that could be very useful for something else. A home for a cat. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, Lex is currently soaking an 80s jumper because it's got a lovely little stain on the front. Yeah, you don't always see when you're looking. Um, I do try and move at a bit of a pace because time is money. And, you know, I, I do get I do get fails. Um, I think overall I generally win, so I don't worry too much. But, yeah, you've got an, oh, uh, yeah, you did have an idea. So you get your new one on Saturday. Oh, new car. I always think having a new car is quite a nice thing. No. Yeah, I didn't get very much. I thought I had more. Maybe I had to drop some in the car. I don't know. I was taking bags everywhere. I picked these up. They need a damn good polish. They need a very good polish, but they have the more squared off toe. Uh, this is very much um, come round again. Um, they have been resold and rehealed, but it's been well done. But they were hops. And for two pounds, I'm not going to turn down Hobbs black leather, decent quality boots. You can usually tell a good quality boot because it's got the leather on the inside, not just the outside. Um, don't know what size they are. Oh, 37. Yeah, they look really big because they've got the big toe on them. 37 is a um, four, four and a half. That's no, a four, isn't it? Yeah, so they're a bit on the small side, but hey ho, you know. Yeah, there's a bit of wear on them as well. But, you yeah, know, even if I churn them out for a few quid, I'm not bothered because they were two. I'm not as picky at two. I'm still fairly picky at two pounds, but not as picky as normally I would be. Um, oh, something pinged. Four. Four. Yes, four. Sorry, yes. I always forget the chat takes a little while to come around. Um, I paid a pound for these. But I like this style of necklace. It's obviously, yes, it's vintage, but it's that red and red and black kind of very 80s. It's just, I think it's quite, it's quite modern actually. It works quite well these days. So a nice graduated plastic necklace, but vintage, so not losing there. And and the main reason I went to this shop is because this is where I picked up some silver last time. Um, I picked up three silver necklaces last time, and one I found out, which was, have I got it? Have I got it here? Or oh, I put it away. It's this thing, I've done it and put it away. It was like a, a twisted six point star, Star of David. And um, that wasn't the one they'd marked as silver. The one they'd marked as silver, they asked three pounds for, which is fair enough. It was a little sort of bow thing. Um, but it actually says Tiffany on it. Now, I've checked it out and it appears to be Tiffany, but the problem is, is that Tiffany, this Tif Tiffany necklace has two little bars either side, one of which says Tiffany and one of which says the name of the designer, which is a lady whose name I forget. But that has actually obviously come off and the thing's been re together um, without that bar because presumably it got lost somewhere along the way. However, it's still a Tiffany necklace and it's still bloody lovely. So uh, I'm quite happy with that. Um, getting better at spotting my silver. So of course I went back to the shop today because I'm not entirely silly. And although I haven't tested these for silver, when you peer in and they've got two pound stickers on them, I don't mind paying two pound for silver. Maybe it's naive of me, but this has got a little bell and a heart and a teeny tiny star. I can't see any brandy, but I haven't looked closely. But of course, when they've got that extra little nuggety thing there with 925 on it, um, you know, I'm, especially at this time of year, I need to get I need to get some more jewelry listed because things like this can make can go as gifts, and I've got little boxes that I can present them in so that they can be presented as a gift. The other one I found, which was also I think two pounds, yes, is yeah, I bet you're going to go sourcing. Uh, this also has the little peanutty nuggety thing with 925 on, and this was a little angel. With a, oh, with a pearl in her face. What, the pearl, they're, they're all separate. But her legs move. <laughs> She's got articulated legs. So I I need to check over her to see if she is separately hallmarked because my eyes just aren't up to it. Um, and I will, I, any time I get silver, I will always double check that it's silver. I can usually tell by 
just scratching it actually most of the time i don't even need to apply anything because as lex and anyone else will tell you silver gives you a very deep rich scratch like there like i've just done anything that's not silver will give you a much a different color like a reddish tone or a, or it'll be mean in the way it scratches it won't be like writing with a pencil it'll feel much more difficult so i'm pretty sure that that's silver yeah i'm pretty sure that she's silver i might double check her but i think she is anyway so i was happy with those as yeah as purchases they're uh, they were all good and if i'm getting them at two pounds a pop and they're very easy to list so i was quite happy with those bless them they even gave me a little box a really nice little box that doesn't go with them um and i'll use it for something else t j c that says in the front don't know what that is so i was quite pleased with those little bits of jewelry i don't get masses of jewelry anymore i'm i'm sort of slightly over large amounts of it although i love sorting it I helped a dear friend, a friend of mine called Anne, who's, who is not on. I don't think she is on here. I know she knows Lex because she's bought stuff from Lex. Um, and I've recommended several channels of wonderful YouTubers out there. Um, she's given me some, she has a lot of jewellery. That's an under, understatement of the year, man. And she's sorting things out. She's having a proper declutter, clear out, sort out. So what we love to do is get together while we still can and just sort through bags of jewellery. It makes me very happy. Now, most of it she wants to keep or she's going to sell on eBay. And then there's other things that, that I have an eye for and that I will buy. So, um, yeah, it's but it's just us. You know, no one else understands that joy of sorting jewellery like we do. It's very funny. So we have a, a lovely morning having a complete chin wag. Um, right, so that was £10 spent with that charity shop. Now these. OMG, when I saw these, look at those spiky leather soles, never been worn, absolutely brand spanking new. I jumped on these. These are Edelman, Sam Edelman, bloody fantastic, says Sam Edelman on the bottom, along with the price ticket. Now, I don't know what these would have cost new, I haven't researched. I'm thinking they were probably quite expensive. Yes, I don't. I don't know what she bought off you, but I remember mentioning she's. Oh yes, I yes, I know. I know. Her, I know. Her. I, I have bought from her. She had bought on one occasion, that's for sure. Uh, she may have bought on eBay, or she may have bought um, Etsy. Um, she very much likes anything vintage, especially Art Deco. Oh, this one can fix Art Deco stuff really well. Um, so it may have been something Art Deco or, or silvery very much a thing it is that silver scratch feel i don't actually get the um get the liquid out anymore or well, very rarely i love these i love 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 them and the size it's not going to tell me the size i mean they don't think they'd suit me anyway my who's in there but oh hang on you can see the size uk 6.5 so they might fit me Rock Rose, <laughs> very spiky though. If you caught yourself on them, you'd do yourself a damage at the ankle area. But they are fantastic, absolutely amazing. Those are going on. I couldn't believe it when I saw them. You see a lot of cheapy shoes that are done a bit like this, but these are the real thing. So I was very happy with those. That was like, oh yes, please, get in my basket, as they say in America. The, the downside I find is that, of course. Modern charity shops or our charity shops here don't have baskets or anything. To, so I end up having to say to the lady who knows me, can I just make a pile here? I've, I've not gone round yet. Just, can I just start a pile off? And she, they always look at you if they don't know. <laughs> if they don't know what you do. But the, the manly dress of the, of the shop is, is a very, very lovely lady. And she was asking me my opinion about should they put out good quality summer dresses. And I'm saying, well, you know, maybe people might buy, buy them for parties and things. I said, but certainly people like myself who are selling will pick them up if they're well-priced. So um, also talking of well-priced, Rocket Dog Shoes, mad colours, a dark floral pattern, so maybe not strictly summer. A bit high for yours truly. Um, a little wear, maybe one a few times, but, but nothing excessive. I don't know what size they are. 
Isn't it maddening when people don't put the size of the shoe on the outside, which is the way it always used to be? Hmm. Could it? Ah, there are seven. There are size seven. So that's a really nice, good size. Really funky, really freaky. And the nice thing is, of course, is that the heels haven't been done in because that's what often happens is some great big ding happens at the at the heel area, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Mike's in. Hello, Mike. Sorry, didn't see you. Didn't see you pop your head around the door there. I hope you're well and looking after yourself. I can't really get up to show this because the cat's on there. And we can't, just, you know, as we're slaves to these creatures, we can't possibly disturb them. Again, the biggest thing in the shop. I couldn't not, though. I do buy coats because I do sell them. Two pounds. This is Winsmore. It's cashmere and wool blend, but it had a really nice fur collar, beautifully lined. This this neutral biscuit tan colour. There are a couple of the very faintest suggestions where a moth has, has basically taken a mouthful, but hasn't gone all the way through. Didn't finish its lunch. Um, but they're they're very, very minor. There's really nothing major there. Oh, thank God it's come without the tissue in the pocket, because that's always the one, isn't it? Or a plaster or something lovely. But no, I think they've actually. Oh, that pocket hasn't been opened. How very odd. So that's really rather nice. A bit hard to show you, I know. That's that's the cuff there as well. Nice detailing. The cuff faux faux, of course. Beautifully made. And I love these ones where they have um, the sort of hook and eye rather than a button. So they're ju they're, it's just the edges meet. I like that. And I really liked it for two pounds. It's quite big and heavy though. It's not for everybody. Oh, right. Is that one you can get along to, Mike? Dog I I love the dog's trust in terms of what they do and everything, but it's a bit like the cat's protection. The ones that we have anywhere near us, and that there aren't any in my town, but nearby are at the very spendy end of charity shops. There, there was one. Was it Caterham or somewhere like that when I used to go out that way to see a friend who used to live there? It looked like a jumble sale, but the prices, <laughs> it's like, but it looks like a dumping ground. You know, it was even untidy in my office, and that's saying something. It was a real rummage. But when you've got very highly priced charity shops, my strategy is they're worth a go to if you've got some time, because if you rummage, they will miss things. They will miss things and they'll miss the more obscure brands as well. And they're the ones that you're not necessarily going to have sort of tucked away in your list of th things to buy. But they're the ones that your quality control intuition is useful for. The ones where the fabric feels nice or the labels sort of stitched in, in or there's, there's lots of labels on it or there's lots of design detail. All those little clues that tell you it's probably a high end brand that they just don't know. Um, but of course, because they're so expensive, I find myself less willing to take a gamble. So it's like phone out and let's check. This is a loud shirt. I'm just warning you. <laughs> it's loud. Um, again, probably a little out of season again, but what the heck. Um, it's what they call madras check. Sorry, cat, am I tickling you? Um, this intrigued me. I often sell Gant as a brand, and this this is Gant. It says it, it says it on it says it on the little label on the back there. But I don't know if this one, let's get rid of that, it's getting in the way, is better or not. This says Yale Gant Campus Store. So I haven't researched that, but I like the colourway anyway. And it's still Gant, but I'd never heard of that. So a nice bit of learning for the day. Oh, and I just wanted to say congratulations to Z and Bex on their new shop, um, Only Cool Stuff, which has opened uh, Saturday, I think it opened, didn't it? Um, absolutely fantastic. I think there's a part of us that all kind of like the idea of a shop and be very scared of doing it. So, you know, very brave, good products. You've got the right idea and congratulations on, on getting it going because I think that's amazing. Um, yeah, there wasn't heaps here. Oh, now I paid a pound for this and I could have been a bit silly, but <laughs> it's the original Star Trek. Kirk, Zulu, Chekhov, is that the wrong way? I'm sure. I don't know, uh, uh, Mr. Spock, uh, McCoy, Lieutenant Who, who I always thought was the coolest thing ever. 
um, the Scottish guy, the engineer, Scotty, obviously, um, <laughs> a little bit on the back there. Um, this is an official one. It does say Star Trek original series crew, copyright 1994 Paramount. Oh, okay. And uh, the tie, I don't know the maker. It's not silk, Ralph Marlin, but I thought for novelty value, for a quid, I'd like to sell that because I think that's hilarious. Um, well, that was just a bit of a bit of a gamble, really. I mean, it's not going to make huge amounts of money, is it? But it was rather funny. This fat girl, fat girl sewing. Oh, it's a name and a half, isn't it? <laughs> I take it you're a lot better at sewing than I am. Oh, and good morning from California, Rowan Ore. How am I, lucky you? That's all I'm saying here in terms of. It's probably warmer in California than it is right here, right now. But then, of course, we get, we get a lot of weather here. We're quite famous for it. Uh, this, I love this colour, and I, I think it's me. I just get drawn to it every time. I love this bright blue. It's it's Ralph Lauren Polo, Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, it's a medium, and it's a ladies one. It was in the men's section, but it's clearly a ladies. The ones that have a big number on, or a nice badge, a kind of worth doing. I thought this was rather oh, nice. There we go. Oh, oh there I go. Oh, what have I done? Just dropped her in. There we go, with the horses and the actual polo. And that's the size medium. So that's actually a ladies one. Um, I've not really sold ladies polo shirts like that. So we'll see. It's in pretty good nick. I spent £17 at this jumbo, oh, jumbo sale. At this boot. Uh, Charity shop, even. God, get your words out, Heather. Right, this I thought was probably a man's jacket, and I think they did too. But again, I don't think it is. I think it might be a lady's, but one of these sort of boxy, loose fit ones. This is Nicole Fari. And it's in a nice check. And the reason it's got quite short arms on it, so it's one of those ones that has a three quarter sleeve. And I can see now I'm holding it up to the light. The very tiniest moth nibble. The moths really have had a field day lately, haven't they? It's very, very small. I'll declare it, but I, I don't seriously think it's going to spoil the, the jacket itself too much. Um, I don't know if this is an old label. I should, there we go, it's very faint. Nickel fart, that looks like it isn't, it's nickel fart. I'm sorry, cat, am I disturbing you? Um, I can't really say I've got a pet free home, can I? Not when I'm draping my products all over the cat. Yeah, it's gone through the lining. But it's very hard to tell, you know, when you're actually in a charity shop, especially when someone's got a busy pattern. But yeah, the lining has had a couple more nibbles. It's strange that they've gone for the lining rather than the outside. But I'm pretty sure that's the latest one. It's pure new wool, which is why they had a good nibble. But there was no size label, which is annoying, but I'll measure it up. And I, I, I do okay. I've done all right with Nick Alfari jumpers. But then jumpers at this time of year, I mean, yes, it's bloody hungry moths. Very annoying. In fact, they made a big hole in the, jump, in the cardigan I'm wearing, which is, is cashmere, it's true. Um, they made a hole in that, but I've repaired it, so I'm quite good at repairing holes now. Um, but I thought, I can't sit there with a big hole in my skin. I don't put it so much on. This I like the look of. Don't usually go for picking up denim jackets, but when it says diesel, um, what size is it? Medium. It's just a cotton jacket. If I do it up, I might actually be able to shave and some form semblance of normality. Right, here we go. What was on the bottom? It's a little faded, but it's not desperate. It's really a quite lightweight denim jacket, so it's not going to keep you warm or for style. But I like the diesel brand. Um, I do all right with it in terms of jeans and things. Uh, the old T-shirt does all right. <laughs> you like the tie? Yeah, I couldn't leave it behind. That was hilarious. <laughs> couldn't leave the tie, the tie behind, not when it was Star Trek. The original. There we go. I thought that's quite a presentable jacket. There we go. It's not really. Uh, you know, you sort of see something. And go. What have I missed? 
Oh, that's right. It's, it's just their logo. It's all sewn on. I think cool. I quite like that myself. I very much doubt I'll be keeping it. Um, it's got nice button cuffs as well. I like the designs on diesel stuff. So I'm quite pleased with that. Don't I don't know what I'll get for any of this, obviously. That's my lot. That's everything that I got. I thought I bought a lot. It felt like hard work today. But I've got some nice bits there. And, um, and that means I'm going to be doing some more photography probably in about five minutes. <laughs> um, try and get it all photographed. Uh, but I have got a lot of stuff to bag and put away, which I haven't done because I do it in great big loads. And I feel quite tired, really. We painted the kitchen and used this oil, the um, Danish oil, to do the worktops because I've got the Uroco, kind of like old science, <laughs> science school kind of tops. And um, it stinks. And I think that's what's making me feel a bit like, ugh, the smell of the stuff. Does that mean break time's over? Well, it's up to you, isn't it, really? <laughs> it's entirely up to you if break time's over. Um, but, uh, yeah, I suppose I'll have to crack on. I, uh, oh, I know what I did find. <laughs> this, I found this the other day when I was like, exploding kittens. I think I'd rather play it than sell it, though. I don't think the cat would appreciate it. Cat a little brain. Comes with a proper rule book, anyway. Oh, they say go online. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you? So, there we go. Interesting signs of the week. I hope you're all managing to still find stock and not drowning in your stockpiles. I've definitely turned into a squirrel and I am drowning in my stuff. So, uh, the sooner I get it filed away, the better. I worked out the amount of drafts I've done actually probably takes me out to Christmas <laughs> in terms of five going live a day. And that's not counting the stuff that I bought today and a couple of bits that I bought off a friend. Oh, and I have got some stuff coming from someone else as well. So, uh, yeah, I've got enough till about January, <laughs> in theory. Um, yeah, but some of it's not so seasonal and, and uh, the stuff I need to get on soon because it'll be gifty time. You've done enough work today, so what are you going to do this afternoon, Max? Just, just chill out with a nice movie. Um, yeah, I'll probably just chill out with the cat for a bit, actually. Yeah, he's sitting there. He's, he's not really sitting there, but his, his head's sort of gone between my knees and his, he's sort of collapsed slightly. Don't know why. It's, it's not a hard life being a cat, is it? It's not a hard life being a cat. There we go. Ah. Yes, baby cat. There we go. There's your audience. There's your fans. <laughs> that was a big sigh. Anyway, thank you for joining me. You're scheduled up to the 23rd. Well done. Yeah, it's a nice feeling, isn't it? And I know you want to get ahead so that you can take the time when you need it as well. Um, yeah, have a good day, everyone. Uh, look after yourselves. Don't get wet this week because it's going to rain. <laughs> oh, and before I go, I shall give you some sparkles and some selling sprinkles. Oh, that's with the cat. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye now. Yes, 